And now, it's time for our daily devotion, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christodo Genovaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 4, 2020 Matthew 25 verses 1 to 13 Verse 1 Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps, and went forth to meet the bridegroom. 2 And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. 3 They that were foolish took their lamps, and took no oil with them. 4. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. 5. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. 6. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go yet out to meet him. 7. Then all those virgins arose, and trimmed their lamps. 8. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. 9. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. 11. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. 12. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. 13. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy The two classes of watchers the wise and the foolish virgins represent the two classes who profess to be waiting for their Lord. They are called virgins because they profess a pure faith. By the lamps is represented the Word of God. The oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. The class represented by the foolish virgins are not hypocrites. They have a regard for the truth, they have advocated the truth, they are attracted to those who believe the truth, but they have not yielded themselves to the Holy Spirit's working. Christ Object Lessons, pages 406 to 411. The two classes of watchers the wise and the foolish virgins represent the two classes who profess to be waiting for their Lord. They are called virgins because they profess a pure faith. By the lamps is represented the word of God. The oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. In the parable, all the ten virgins went out to meet the bridegroom. All had lamps and vessels for oil. For a time there was seen no difference between them. So with the church that lives just before Christ's second coming, all have a knowledge of the scriptures. All have heard the message of Christ's near approach, and confidently expect his appearing. But as in the parable, so it is now. A time of waiting intervenes, faith is tried, and when the cry is heard, behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him, many are unready. They have no oil in their vessels with their lamps. They are destitute of the Holy Spirit. The class represented by the foolish virgins are not hypocrites. They have a regard for the truth. They have advocated the truth. They are attracted to those who believe the truth, 
but they have not yielded themselves to the Holy Spirit's working. It is in a crisis that character is revealed. It will show whether the soul is sustained by grace. The ten virgins are watching in the evening of this earth's history. All claim to be Christians. All have a call, a name, a lamp, and all profess to be doing God's service. All apparently wait for Christ's appearing. But five are unready. Five will be found surprised, dismayed, outside the banquet hall. Saddest of all words that ever fell on mortal ear are those words of doom, I know you not. By Ellen G. White, Christ Object Lessons, pages 406 to 413. Our prayer for you today. Dear God, it is with awe and reverence that we approach your holy presence because you are our Creator and our Father. Thank you so much for your messages through the daily, Abiding in Jesus Christ ministry. We pray for the abiding and the indwelling of Jesus Christ in each of us today. Thank you for answering our prayers for we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.